Mm. Like a kid, of course, I was fan of Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, because he was super clever in the court. But later on, uh, like a teenager, uh, my favorite was Dirk Nowitzki, because I had the same style on him, with him. And yeah. It's a hard question, but uh, there were some players in the past that were my role models. For example, one of them when I was uh, starting my basketball road, it was uh, David Rivers. He was uh, a player from uh, America who came to play in Tofaş in Turkey and he was a killer on the court. He was able to score like 20 points and every, every basket was made in a different way. So he was very versatile and very skilled player. And uh, from NBA, I would say that uh, Allen Iverson, Steve Francis, and of course Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant would be my main players that were from the age that I played basketball. In modern basketball, guys like Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, these are the guys who are like top level in modern, bas modern basketball. Because of my age, uh, you can tell this, like, there's one hero for us, like, Michael Jordan, because we, we watch him real morning at 4 or 5 in my country to watch his final game. So, for me, just there's a one legend, it's Michael Jordan. Why not? Why not? But uh, because they haven't negative point of the height uh, they need to work on other things mostly like be, become a good point guard point guard doesn't need to be super tall need to be fast uh, needs to have a lot of power and good ball handling so why not in my opinion short people can be good uh, basketball players uh, there is some advantages on both sides uh, for example, if you have size, you, it's easier for you to shoot or a shorter defender. But from the other angle, for uh, shorter guys that has usually better uh, coordination and motoric abilities, it's easier for them to learn and improve their skills. So basically, both sides has their own advantages. Of course they can be. Uh... I will give you uh, one example from my country and then, and then you will understand this very, very well. Uh, every team they are looking players and they are uh, choosing, picking the players and they are writing age and height. Age and height. So, they are choosing always tallest players in Turkey. Now, 20, 2020 in Turkish national team we import point guards from another country from US and the point guard is 178 centimeters Bobby Dixon so short player short people can play basketball and I can give you very good two examples about this and they can understand very well one of them Ellen Iverson and if they don't know Ellen Iverson new generation I can give you another example about new generation Stephen Curry so they are not tall they are not very strong so they can be so when a kid starts you don't know what you can see is the talent the talent can be <clears throat> how good he is with the ball handling, how he handles the ball, uh, or how tall is he, it's tall is being the tallest talent itself, how fast or some, something like that. Um, but it's not important how good you are in the basketball, it's important is how hard you're going to work to become better in basketball can be a tough question from my perspective 
uh, you can know that the player is good in basketball if you see that he feels the game, that he feels uh, timing, uh, spacing, uh, that uh, he feels timing and spacing between the players who is guarding him, for example, that uh, he feels uh, timing and spacing between his teammates, when to pass, how to pass in accordance with the defense. Also, a uh, very important part is uh, their creativity to find solutions on the court that uh, defense couldn't predict and uh, basically uh, basketball is a game of uh, decisions. If you are making good decisions, if you, uh, like I said, see timing and spacing uh, and uh, on the top of that you have good motoric abilities like coordination, uh, uh, ball handling uh, abilities, then you can, you can uh, be, let's say, good basketball player. Uh, you know that uh, if uh, we can, I can give this uh, question answering it's like two different ways, like one professional way, one is from court, like basketball academy wise, I can give two different answers. Like professional way to understand the player is very good and so you need, you need knowledge, like you need experience, like to understand one player is good or not. Usually you need to spend time watching game, like very, very, very deep knowledge you need to understand. And it's changing. For me, some player is very good, for other five coaches is not good. But if we call it generally, Nif Centris is a player good in the court, who can create their own position and who can create position for others. So we can call this, this, this player is good player for every coach. And if we call the other wise, academy wise, like learning wise, like to be better player wise, of course, who is coming to practice more? Like once a week you are coming practice and you telling that I'm working by myself and then you coming again, coach, why I cannot improve? Of course, uh, you cannot improve like this because uh, they think that when they work themselves, they can increase, but it doesn't work like this. Uh, you need really coaches because this is habits game. When you're making your own drills, own workout, you don't see yourself. Okay, if you don't see yourself, you cannot correct yourself. So because of this, you need coach so because of this you need to follow up the all practice okay if you come three times in a week and other kids coming four times in a week of course three months later he will be better player because he's following up he's doing more practice so this is the important thing